guys what the flip is up tube nation this shirt i custom made this shirt on a random website sean from life is strange he posted a screen recording of my video of me playing it with this beautiful caption and i put it on a shirt so that's what this is. Anyway, today's video, I'm gonna dye my hair. I'm in one of those moods. The color of my hair is just kind of dull. I'll show you when my hair is down in a second. My hair is just not giving life. It's not giving vibrance. So I'm gonna dye my hair today. So before we get started, we do have a sponsor. So take it away, Sarah. All right, y'all, today's sponsor is Earth Breeze. Sarah, what on earth is Earth Breeze? Great question. Earth Breeze is on a mission to make high quality, low weight products that deliver meaningful environmental social impact for a more sustainable future because small acts now make a way bigger impact tomorrow and every time you use an earth breeze product you are reducing single-use plastic waste and helping someone in need and y'all earth breeze has revolutionized my laundry experience let me tell you I go to a lot of music festivals my clothes are always dirty afterwards I'm always just running around in the dirt and these laundry detergent eco sheets have honestly changed the game for me. The packaging is compact, it's biodegradable, and it's plastic free. You see that? It is indeed cardboard. And look how thin it is. It's so easy to store instead of using those big detergent tubs, the pods. Those take up so much space, okay? And I don't have that much storage room. It's way better for the planet. And it also just makes laundry easier. Earth Breeze got rid of everything wrong with old-fashioned laundry detergent, including the heavy, wasteful plastic jugs. And 91% of laundry jugs don't even get recycled. They just end up in landfills and 700 million detergent jugs enter landfills and oceans every year from the USA alone. That needs to stop. And the powerful eco sheets, they look like dryer sheets, but they're not. Don't get it twisted. See? They look like dryer sheets. Oh, and they smell so delicious. It is a revolutionary liquidless laundry detergent that dissolves 100% in hot or cold water in any type of cycle or machine, including high efficiency. It's so easy to use with no measuring, heavy lifting, or mess. You just toss them in. And their flexible subscriptions can be self-managed so you can adjust, you can pause, you can cancel anytime without any penalties or hidden fees or any extras. And they get delivered right to your door via carbon neutral shipping. And they're also hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. And if you have sensitive skin like me, they're great for sensitive skin. And I have to be so specific with what kind of detergent I'm using. So these are really great for that. And they also smell delicious, but there's also a fragrance free option. And there's a 100% satisfaction or get your money back. No questions asked and no return necessary. They understand. And most importantly, Earth Breeze is tough on stains and removes all of the odor. So you get a powerful clean every time. So what I'm trying to say is there's no reason for you not to switch, okay? Everything about it is fantastic. Go to earthbreeze.com slash sarabasca to get started with 40% off. That's right. That's earthbreeze.com slash sarabasca to get 40% off of your subscription. Thank you so much, Earthbreeze, for sponsoring today's video. I love what you guys are doing. Now let's get into it. Okay, y'all, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Whenever I do my hair by myself, I fuck it up or I hate it or it breaks off and it's crazy. But it's not gonna be that dramatic. This is my natural hair, you guys. Look at how long it's gone. What? Look at me a year and a half ago with my bowl cut and then look at my hair now. I'm not even joking. This is my hair. I'll prove it. I hope my dandruff doesn't flake. I am so thrilled about it, but I just I feel like it's lacking. I want it to be richer, more vibrant. I found this box dye and the color is intense cocoa and that intrigued me. I'm just hoping it doesn't come out too dark because I already get the Miranda Cosgrove comments. Everybody says I look like Miranda Cosgrove, but when my hair gets really dark, I am Miranda Cosgrove's doppelganger twinsy. I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off and do it. This is already intimidating me, just this tube. Okay, okay. Mind you, it's two in the morning. Okay, God. I need to read the directions so carefully. Isn't it so funny that box dyes come with little gloves, but they're imprinted in the directions? Why do they do this? <laughs> it's like a sticker. Should I read this in Espanol? No, okay. 
the adrenaline that I have. Okay, let's just do this. Do not color your hair if you have a rash on your face or sensitive, irritated, or damaged scalp. I don't think I have a rash on my face. I have dandruff, but that's manageable. It doesn't irritate me. Well, it irritates me in social situations. But okay, that's not what they're asking. Do not color your hair if you have ever experienced any reaction after coloring your hair. I have very deep emotional and psychological reactions, but I don't think that that's what they're asking either. Do not color your hair if you have experienced a reaction to a temporary black henna tattoo in the past. What? <laughs> what does that have to do with? I'm not even gonna ask, okay, what? Step one, twist cap and apply pre-color serum to dry ends of your hair. Pre-color serum. This? Okay. I just heard a gunshot. Awesome. It's always a fun game in my neighborhood where it's like, was that a firework or a gunshot? LA, we love it. Ew, that noise. Ugh, hated that. Putting this to the ends of my hair. I already committed. We're doing this. Smells good. Okay, step two. <laughs> Pierce the color cream tube with the reverse side of the cap. That was not English. What the hell? Pierce the color cream. What? Pierce? What are we piercing? Pierce? What do you mean pierce? Oh, pierce the color cream tube. Like pierce it with a doy. Okay, I get it. Like pierce it open. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh God, okay. Okay, I think I got it all? Question mark? Place the cap back on, okay, and close it securely. Sure. Shake the bottle vigorously until all the ingredients, okay. Shake that ass like boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka. Then twist off the <laughs> twist off the tip of the cap and immediately start the application process. Okay. Okay, but like, where do I start? Do I start up here or down here first? I feel like I'm going to science class. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start it off in sections. Is that a good idea? I think that's a good idea, right? Sections. Right? <laughs> Watch me rinse my hair and dry it and it looks no different. I'm betting money on that. Or I'm gonna look like Miranda Cosgrove. It's either one or two. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell a random story or just like something silly that I remembered. Oh my God, I'm doing it. There's no turning back now. Holy shit, I'm terrified. Okay, this is happening. I wanted to tell you the story about something that I remembered because I went on Facebook. And when I go on Facebook, that is like my last resort of boredom. I already scrolled through TikTok. It's like two in the morning. So I'm like, let's go on Facebook and see how everyone from my hometown is doing. How everyone from my hometown's kids are doing because everybody has kids. And I see that this guy that I was obsessed with in high school, he posted a picture, him and his girlfriend or fiance or wife, I don't even fucking know, but they're pregnant a maternity shoot where like her belly's really big and this guy i was obsessed with him in high school when i saw that picture all of these memories came back and they were flooding in and i was like laughing so hard to myself and i'm like wait i don't think i've ever shared this on youtube like this is so funny okay i think i got most of my hair so i'm just gonna set the timer for 20 minutes because i'm scared to go overboard i don't want to look like marina cosgrove even though i love her like i said okay so this guy let's name him dylan okay dylan also i just wanted to add that this is a story from when i was 18 and obviously i respect this man's relationship his wife or girlfriend i'm not trying to be weird in this video <laughs> and when I retell stories, I think of every detail. So by any chance they are watching this, I respect your relationship and I'm so happy for you guys. And I love you guys so much. So Dylan, he went to school with Ashlyn and they went to a different high school, like 20 minutes away from me, right? And he was the hottest guy at her school, but he always had a girlfriend. Always, always off limits. I always like admired him from afar. And whenever Ashlyn would like post pictures on Facebook of her and her friends and like Dylan was in there, I would always be like, he's so hot, but he was always with his girlfriend. 
so I never really thought anything about it. I was just like, oh my God, Ashlyn, your friend is so fucking hot. And she was like, I know, dude. So then my senior year happens. He already graduated from high school. And me and Ashlyn are just like talking shit about Dylan and his girlfriend because Ashlyn's still really close to Dylan. And she's like, oh my God, like they need to break up. Like they're so toxic. And then the day comes, she sends me the text and goes, Dylan's on the market, bitch. I go, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And me and Ashlyn put a plan into attack to get Dylan <laughs> to fall in love with me. But we also never met. This is gonna happen. I go, let's get it, bitch. So The Bachelor was gonna start, right? The show. And you guys know I'm in Bachelor Nation. I've seen every single season. And Ashlyn calls me up and she goes, yo, you should come over to my house on Monday and watch The Bachelor and I'll invite Dylan. And I'm like, does Dylan even like The Bachelor? And she goes, I don't know, but we'll see. So I'm like, oh my God, this is terrifying. I'm freaking out, y'all. I've never met this man. So Monday comes around, I go to Ashlyn's house. Dylan comes over with his friend. And I was like, oh my God. He's beautiful, gorgeous in person. Beautiful smile, dazzling smile. So funny, sweet, sweetie pie. We're watching The Bachelor. I'm so nervous, I'm shy. I don't know what to say, but it was like the perfect situation because The Bachelor is so easy to make fun of. So we're all just like making fun of it and making jokes. It was good. After the show was over, he like looked at me. He was like, nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you too, Dylan. And he was like, we should do this every week. And I was like, yeah, Dylan. And then me and Ashlyn looked at each other and we were like, working. So then the next week happens, he comes over, and then this is happening every week. He's bringing like hors d'oeuvres, like cookies, like a charcuterie board every week. We're sipping wine. And now he's invested. He's never even seen The Bachelor, but now he's invested. But we never talked one-on-one -on -one, ever. It was always in a group of people. So then after like week four, after The Bachelor was over, we were all like talking and shit. Ashlyn looks at me and she goes, oh, she like fake yawns. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed. You guys just stay out here, just like keep talking. I'm just gonna go to bed. Good night, guys. She gets up and leaves us. My social anxiety skyrocketed to the roof. I'm like, OMG, it's just me and Dylan. This is terrifying. So then me and Dylan would just talk for hours and hours and hours. I was like, oh my God, this is literally going to be my boyfriend. This is crazy, this is crazy. The next week, same shit. She would yawn, go to bed. We would talk for hours and hours and hours. We would just be doing that for weeks and weeks and weeks, right? And then at the end of my senior year, a week before graduation, I. I don't know why I had the balls to do this. I go, hey, I know this is like kind of weird, but I'm graduating next week. Do you want to like go to my graduation and like meet my family and like sit with my family at my graduation? Ashlyn's gonna be there, so you'll know Ashlyn. If you don't want to go, that's totally fine. And immediately he was like, I'll go. That sounds fun. I would love to see you graduate high school. I was like, okay, 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 cool. Like I still didn't know him that well. It wasn't to the point where I felt completely comfortable around him yet. So him going to my graduation was a huge stretch. But I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna shoot my shot. Also, before y'all get it twisted, he was only a year older than me, okay? He wasn't some like creepy older man. <laughs> so then, oh my God, you guys. My graduation comes. Ashlyn gets to my house early. She like helps me get ready. I look so cute. I got my little graduation dress on and then I got my gown over it, my little cap and shit. We're in my room upstairs and I hear the doorbell and she goes, that's Dylan. And I'm like, you need to go and open the door because I'm going to have a panic attack. I can't do it. She walks down the stairs and already my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad. He opens the door, lets Dylan inside. <clears throat> Dylan has flowers for me. 
meets my dad for the first time, and my dad is terrifying. If you are a guy that wants to pursue me, my dad is so intimidating. He shakes my dad's hand, comes in, Ashlyn goes down, saves the day. My sister also comes down and also buffers it, so he doesn't feel completely terrified. I can hear them downstairs in the living room, and the living room is right next to the front door, so they're like sitting in my living room, like all talking and shit. Also, mind you, I've never had a legitimate boyfriend in all of my high school years. This was like my first experience with all of that. So the fact that this hottie, this hottie was gonna be with my family on my graduation was the biggest flex of my life. I'm like, let's fucking get it. I hear my daddy go, Sarah, it's time to go. And I'm like, oh shit. And I walk out of my room and I go to my staircase. It was literally like Cinderella. I'm not even fucking kidding you. You know how like, or one of those movies where like the bitch like walks down the staircase and there's the guy that, it was literally like that. Everyone was standing up by the front door. And then there's Dylan, the most beautiful fucking boy at the time, was just at the end of my staircase, just looking up at me. <laughs> in my graduation cap and gown, just walking down my spiral staircase. It was like slow-mo. And he still like had the flowers because he wanted to personally give it to me. And he hands me the flowers and he's like, you look so pretty. And I was like, oh, thank you. Like, thank you for even being here. This is so rando. Like we literally just met. And now you're going to my graduation with my entire family. If that doesn't freak you out now. Okay, also, I need to wash this out of my hair now. Fuck, now I'm really into the story. Okay, I have to wash this out now. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I just rinsed it out and I put the conditioner in the ends. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes, but it's looking pretty dark, but also I can't tell. So I'm just gonna tell the story a little bit more before I rinse this out. So then we go to my graduation and bless Dylan's heart. My high school's pretty big, so he had to sit there in the bleachers with my family for hours watching this boring ass graduation. It was so boring, y'all. And I kept looking up because I saw where my family and where Dylan were sitting. He was just such a trooper. He sat through the whole thing with a smile on his face. It was so boring, so boring. You know how graduations are and I barely know him. <laughs> So it's like, what is he doing there? And all of my friends kept looking over and being like, Sarah, who is that guy that's sitting with your family? And I'm like, who's this guy that I'm like talking to? Like I said, none of my friends or anyone that I went to school with has ever seen me with a guy. And I was on cloud nine because I was graduating. My family were making bets on me if I was gonna graduate or not. <laughs> Cause I was so, I was, concerned but i always pull through at the last minute you know i'm like you guys i'm going to graduate just trust in me and i was sitting there i was so proud of myself and i just kept looking over at my family and this gorgeous man and i'm like yep i'm doing the damn thing i'm growing up i'm making moves bitch so then after the ceremony you're taking pics with your friends and like other graduates and shit then i meet up with my sweet family and dylan and dylan is just tagging along like a little puppy and thank god ashlyn was there i took the cutest pictures with Dylan. I want to post one. I'm going to blur his face out. When I was taking these pictures with Dylan, everybody was looking at me. What? Sarah? And a guy? Everybody just kept coming up to me asking me who this hottie was. And I'm like, guys. Relax. It was such a sleigh. It was perfect too because nobody knew who he was. Me showing up just to mic drop on the end of my year. Fuck all of y'all. I'm never gonna see any of you guys again and look who I'm with. You know, it was so iconic. Oh, after I really basked in that moment, we went to this Mexican restaurant for my graduation dinner. I was so uncomfortable. Now that it was all settling in, now that my bragging rights were over and reality was setting in, being like, oh my God, this is like a guy I'm about to date. I am terrified and we're going to my family dinner. I was shitting my pants that entire dinner. Just so nervous. I probably didn't even talk that entire dinner because I was like, wait, I don't even know this guy. What does this mean now? What does a relationship mean now? I'm just starting my life. I just graduated high school. Like my life is just beginning. Do I really want a boyfriend right now? What does even having a boyfriend mean? Does this mean that we have to get married next? Do I have to get married to this guy if I date him? But then if I do date him and I don't want to marry him, I have to break up with him and I have to go through a heartbreak. 
and I was just spiraling out of control at this Mexican restaurant. <laughs> like, I was shitting myself. You can see it in my face, bitch. I'm like, oh God, what am I gonna do? It was so nice. Just kind of like boy next door. And I was so weird but I masked a lot of my personality in front of him because I was so scared at the time of him like really knowing the real me and like liking the real me because I never knew how to do that. I never knew how to like completely be myself around a guy. So I just kind of was like a chameleon and I kind of just always matched his energy. My intuition just started churning, especially after my graduation happened and after that dinner happened, I'm like, oh my God, I don't even know who I am around this guy. I don't even know how to be myself around this guy and I was thinking to myself like this isn't how it should feel before you get into a relationship with someone I shouldn't be feeling like I'm gonna throw up every time I'm around this person so my intuition was just screaming at me but I think it all switched for him when he met my family because my family's dope and so it just all made sense in his head that's where he was at but I wasn't there but after my graduation we kept meeting up at Ashland's and like doing the same old thing so it was like the end of June oh my god he was about to go to Spain for three weeks on a backpacking trip <sighs> and he was talking about how he wasn't gonna have phone service and I was like, oh my god, I can't even imagine not talking to you for three weeks. But at the same time, in my intuition was like, I feel like you'll be fine if you don't talk to him for three weeks. So I was stressing. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this out and dry my hair and then I'm gonna finish the story. All right, y'all, I just blow dried it. Are you ready for the big reveal? Oh my God, okay, here we go. Yeah, baby. Oh my God, I love it. Yes, 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 yes. This is all of my own hair. This is all me. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh my God, it's not too dark. My hair was just dull and just not rich. And this is rich, bitch. If this isn't rich, this color is so rich. And it might not look that different to you guys, but to me, I killed that shit, bitch. This is exactly what I was wanting. There's life to it now. Oh my God. Okay, let me just end my story, holy shit. So the end of the story is he was about to go on this backpacking trip, right? And I was freaking out because I didn't feel the same. I was like, wait, why do I not care that he's going on this backpacking trip? But I was also, I also, sorry, I'm putting new sport in on my leg. But I also like did care because I did like him, but I just felt like he was moving a little bit too fast for me. I don't know, with all this like, I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm like, girl, what? And also we haven't even kissed, we haven't even held hands, we haven't even cuddled, we haven't done anything physically related at all. Only hugs goodbye. I just want you guys to know that. He was leaving for Europe on Wednesday and he comes over to Ashlyn's house on Monday for like our last Monday night hangout session, right? This is where it all shifted. So we're sitting on this couch, Ashlyn's asleep. Something's different about this time. He's like more nervous than usual. He's like squirming. He's not really making eye contact with me while we're talking and I'm like, what the fuck Dylan? Like what is going on? My stomach was starting to feel weird. And then he goes, okay, Sarah, I'm just gonna, I need to cut the bullshit. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? I thought we were just like talking about dogs and how you like loved Pomeranians. Like, what do you mean? And he was like, I have to tell you something. And I go, okay, you hate Pomeranians? Like, did you lie? Like, that's okay. And he goes, you know how I'm going to Spain on Wednesday? I go, yeah. You talk about it every time we hang out. He goes, yeah. It's just killing me that I'm gonna be in Spain for three weeks without Wi-Fi. like we can't talk. And I'm like, yeah, totally, <laughs> that really sucks. In my head, I'm like, I don't, I don't really care. Like, I don't care. I just graduated, I'm like a free bird. I don't even know what I want in life. I'm like a timid little squirrel, like I don't fucking, okay and he was like it's just gonna kill me if i just don't tell you this tonight and i was like okay what is it and he goes Aah. he goes Aah. sarah i was talking to my mom last night and um <laughs> i just started talking about you and i was like uh-huh and he goes, I told my mom that you're the one. 
You're the one. You're the girl. You are it. And when he said that, all of my organs dropped out of my body. My heart stopped. He got all like squirmish, wouldn't even look at me. And I didn't know how to respond to that because I didn't feel the same, which was crazy because me and Ashlyn were scheming for months for this to happen. This guy was always unavailable for years. And it was always just a fantasy of mine for me and him to be together. And then here is the moment where he's looking me in my eyes and he's telling me that I'm the girl, I'm the one. I freaked the fuck out internally because I didn't know why I didn't feel the same. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. On paper, he's everything that I've ever wanted. I realized, oh my God, I'm actually so emotionally unavailable. I got this guy to fall in love with me for months. Not fall in love, but you know, just to like me. I thought I liked him even more than that. Once he told, I didn't. Ah! You guys, I did not know what to do. I didn't know what to say. All I said was like, wait, really? You did, like, really? And he was like, yeah. Mind you, we haven't even kissed yet. We haven't even held hands. We haven't even cuddled. Haven't even had a makeout session. Like, what do you mean I'm the one? I'm the one? In my head, I'm like, oh my God, he wants to marry me tomorrow. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I was like, I'm a virgin. I haven't even kissed him yet. That shit freaked me out. And also because I knew that he was so experienced. He's had sex before, he's had multiple girlfriends. He's experienced. And so I got so scared and so intimidated by that. I was like, how do you know though? Like, and he was like saying that he was gonna miss me so much while he was in Spain. And I was like, me too. I think. I was like, oh my God, I have to go to bed. It's really late. And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drive home. And I walk him to the door and that should have been the moment where we kiss for the first time, right? That would make sense. But he was too nervous to kiss me because he just bared his soul to me. So we just awkwardly hugged by the front door for like two minutes, just hugging. Oh my God, I was like, bro, this could have been your moment. This could have probably changed how I felt, but I don't know. But the fact that he didn't kiss me, was just kind of like, bro. And then once he left, I just started sobbing because I was like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? I did not know that this was going to happen this quick. Like, yes, me and Ashlyn schemed this and we planned for this to happen, but I didn't know it was going to happen this soon. I just graduated last week, bitch. I'm the one? What are you talking about? I'm 18. Like, I barely graduated high school. I'm the one? What are you talking about? I'm not trying to get married. And then he goes to Europe. So Ashlyn was like, okay, just take the next few weeks to like process your emotions, process how you're feeling. See if you miss him while he's away. I'm like, this is, that, that's a good plan. In those three weeks, I was just... No, like, no, I don't, I don't see it. I don't feel it, which messed with me. And I was beating myself up. I'm like, is it me? Is it my problem? Should I be feeling something different? No, it just was not, it was just not my person. You guys are gonna literally scream at me, but you have to remember I was 18 years old. This was eight years ago. I would never do this now, but he came back from Europe. Oh. He came back from Europe three weeks later and he sent me a text being like, yo, I missed you. Let's hang out. I want to like tell you about Europe. He was like, I was like thinking about you a lot on my trip. 
and I was dreading this day. I was dreading this day. I had crippling anxiety the few days before he came back. And when he sent me that text, I froze in fear and my avoidant attachment style just ripped through my being and just looked at that and just completely disregarded it. I opened it and then closed my phone I never talked to him again. That was that. That was it. That was it. I completely went ghost on this guy. Oh my god. I think he called me one time after that and I didn't answer. But he didn't even like try after that because he was like, damn. The message is received. And everybody was so pissed at me, like Ashlyn and Krista, her sister, my sister was fucking pissed. She wasn't mad at me that I didn't like him back like that, but they were mad at me about how I went about it. It makes sense and I so get them, but I just did not have the heart or the confidence or the courage to even tell him how I felt. I was so like lost and mad at myself. I didn't even know how to dig deep to even tell him how I felt. So I just ghosted him. Oh, oh, I cannot even imagine how he felt, bro. He came back to the United States, like looking forward to talk to me and hang out with me after he told me and his mom that I was the one. And I just never responded to him. Oh my God, I sucked. I was the worst. I was the worst and I get it and I understand. So when I was on Facebook the other day and I was scrolling through, Dylan posted a picture of him and his new fiance and she has a baby bump and he looks so happy and he's about to be a dad. He is living his best life and I am just so happy for him. <laughs> Like, I'm so happy that he found somebody that could reciprocate his love because he had so much love to give. He was the best, not a fuck boy. He didn't play games. He was so healthy and I just could not reciprocate it. It was too scary, but I'm just so happy that he found someone. I saw that picture and I was like, yes. And I always think and wonder like, what the fuck does he think about me now? Because this was before YouTube and me making videos and shit. Like, I wonder. He probably doesn't even think twice about me now, but that was just something that I randomly remembered. Dylan. The one that got away. <laughs> but it just wasn't meant to be, you know? And I'm so happy for him now. So, love you, Dylan. You are not watching this whatsoever. But, hey, that was just a silly little funny story. And I wanted to tell that to you guys while I dyed my hair dark brown. So yeah, love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys like my hair, because I love it. So if you don't like it, I don't care, because I like it. It's four in the morning, it's time to go to sleep. Okay, love you guys. And don't be like me. If you don't like a guy, listen to me. If you don't like someone, once you feel it, you let them know. Don't string them along. Just communicate. Ugh. Okay, bye guys. I suck. I don't suck now. I did suck. So don't suck. Be a good person. Okay, love you.